we're back to discuss fist fight and if you saw our review we didn't really care for it um it, it does have this problem and i mean there's there's a bunch of movies that have this problem ghostbusters had this problem um all of the characters are the joke is that they're foul-mouthed and they ramble on and it's like not everyone in the movie can be Charlie Day. Like, one Charlie Day is enough. And he's more than enough in this movie. There's there's too much... There's too many people clamoring for uh, the laugh and, and no characters. Like, they completely waste Kamel Nanjiani. Um, Dean Norris kills me when they first show him. And then by the end of it, I'm tired of his character too. Um, the one girl who I can't think of her name right now, she was probably the funniest part of it, and she was about as close to a straight man as you get. Well, yeah, I mean, her, the one that just wanted to have sex with the students. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like everyone is a, everyone has a two dimensional character, like, this is this person, and they talk like this, and they want this. Um, Christina like, Hendricks' character didn't make any sense. Like, why was she even there? Yeah, she feels like somebody that they... It, it looked like from some of the uh, outtakes at the end that they cut some stuff of hers out of the movie. But even so, it's like, she was kind of an extended cameo. Dean Norris was kind of an extended cameo. Tracy Morgan was kind of an extended cameo. And then it's all based on... Ice Cube just being mad for the whole movie. But they don't like they they take all of the all of the suspense and all the humor out of that by making it like he's the, he's at the same level of rage the entire movie. So it doesn't it just doesn't go anywhere. Um and it's just that kind of thing is like it's tiring to watch. It's like We've got a 15 minute, we've got maybe 15 minutes worth of idea, worth of material. And we're just going to do it over and over and over and over again until the movie's over. Yeah. And hey, guess what? They end up friends at the end. It's like, yeah, of course they do. Well, yeah, well, I mean, Nothing this, surprising will happen in this movie. What killed me is Ice Cube's actually pretty funny. And they just used him to throw out catchphrases from other movies. Yeah. That he's been in in this one. Yeah. And I, I don't understand, like, how... <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure how this movie got made with as weak as it was. I, I just don't get it. Well, it's, I mean, it's a zero-budget R-rated comedy. Mm. And it's early in the year, and that's when Ice Cube no-money comedies come out. And this one happens to have Charlie Day in it instead of Kevin, Kevin Hart, Hart or... Whoever else they want to pair him up with. Yeah, it was not very good. The I I did enjoy the talent show scene. Yeah, and that's like <laughs> that. Had, by that point, it had just beaten me down. But again, it was you know what's the joke? It's someone saying a bunch of like it's the joke is that she's saying foul language. That's the joke. And we've been watching that joke for a long time. It's just a surprise that it comes from her in that scene. You expect that, that scene to be about something else. But it's not. Because that's like the only joke they have. It's the only thing they can come back to. Um, and even that, it was like... It went on like three times as long as it really needed to. Yeah. It just like, yes, we get it. We understand the point. It's not really much else to say. Yeah. It's the same joke over and over and over. Yep. Yep. So I, yeah, let's we, we won't belabor the review, but yeah, it's <laughs> not a good movie. Um, not the worst R.A. to comedy I've ever seen, but um, certainly not very original and very forgettable. One I would have, if I had rented this, I would have turned it off about half about half an hour into it. I'd have been like nah, the first forty minutes working. were punishing. Yeah. Like, it, once you got past that, it became halfway decent, but the first 40 minutes were 
just terrible. Yeah. So, anyway, that's Fist Fight. Uh, if you like the way we do these, please like the video, subscribe, check out all the written and video reviews at dalemaxfield.com. Thanks for watching.